Okay, um, we have 65 men temperatures here, a sample 65 men, and we're going to test the null hypothesis that uh, uh, the mean temperature for males is 98.6. We're going to use a two-tailed t-test uh, for the mean at a significant level of 0 0.01. And in order to do this, uh, this must be installed on the toolbar there, a data analysis tool bot, uh, pack. Uh, if you haven't done that, you can go to a previous video in Blackboard. I think it's the first one in there. Click on it, and you'll see a YouTube about how to, to install this on your Excel. Um, now, uh, if you click on data analysis, um, these are the types of things that you can do. And uh, there's lots of things in here, but we're looking for a t-test. And notice that there's, there's a z-test. Okay, two sample means. We want to do, uh, this one here is reserved for um, when you do a before and after the subject. Uh, like um, the same person uh, tests their reaction uh, in a driving machine, responding to uh, some stuff, you know, and then uh, um, their, re their reaction time. Then another time they're, uh, list they're, they're talking on a cell phone. I think we did something that, like that at the beginning of the year. Uh, that would be for that. Um, but this is, uh, we never assume, this is almost never done. Uh, uh, assuming equal variances is like saying we know the standard deviation of both. We certainly know the standard deviation of sample, but uh, we will never know the standard deviation for the population of all males because we will just simply can't get, find that out. So we're going to do this one here two sample, t-test, two sample, assuming unequal variances, uh, hit, hit uh, uh, but we got, the way we're going to do this, why is two sample, we're going to, we, uh, there's no other way to do this, so we're going to have to kind of fool the program. So hit cancel. What we're going to do is go over here to B2, and we're going to put under the null temperature 98.6. And then we're going to move this uh, around, this cursor down, so the bottom right-hand corner, and drag it down so that we have uh, a 98.6 for, for every one of the data values that we've collected. And so that's how we'll fool the computer into doing uh, a two-sample t-test. So go back and hit the data analysis tools. There it is. It's, uh, it's already highlighted. Click, click OK. I have stuff in there. I'm going to pull it out just so you can see how it's done. So I'm going to take out all of everything and just tell you, explain to you how we do this. Click in the variable one range up there. Uh, slide uh, the bar up to the top. There's a S, uh, go to A1. And we're going to include the title here. So uh, left click and drag the white star down and get all 65 data values plus the title. That's filled in here now in variable range 1. So now click in variable range 2 window here, and this is a, a blinking means it's in the right place. And again, we'll go to the top, and we'll grab the title null, and then uh, drag it down. And so we'll be able to compare these two things. and. We'll say, uh, go to the next window, and there should be no difference. So put a zero there. And then our significance level, alpha, is 0 0.01. And then click in the uh, output range. And this is going to tell us where they want, where, where, where we want the program to dump the, the results of the test. And so uh, slide the bar up here on the right up until you see this where it says male temperatures click on that cell and we'll go down about what no oh, I don't know go down about five or six or seven and go over a three or four you know just enough so that I think we can see it right there hit OK and uh, we get everything we need and it's and uh, if you can't see it go up here it says split H and J apart uh, so you can see everything. Okay, good. We can see everything. Tells you it's a t-test, two sample, assuming unequal variances. There's the men's temperatures. Uh, the mean is uh, 98 point, about 98.1. 
And the variance, of course, is um, uh, you, you square, uh, take the square root of that, you'll have the standard deviation. The number of observations was 65. That's correct. The, di the mean difference is expected to be zero. The degrees of freedom, since it's a t-test, is uh, one minus the sample size. That's 64. And here's our test statistic. You know, just like we got our z-score, this is, this is the one uh, comparable to the t-distribution. And then uh, here it has the probability for one-tailed test. Here's the critical value for a one-tailed test. Here's the, the p-value, right, or probability for a two-tailed test. And here is the critical values for the uh, two-tailed test. If I look at uh, our test statistic, uh, that's almost, uh, that's six and a half standard deviations um, away from uh, not standard devi standardized deviations, uh, away from the mean of zero. So that's pretty far away. Uh, and you can see the critical value that goes with that is 2.65. And so anything that's below negative 2.65, uh, we will say is in the rejection region. This is clearly in the rejection region. But if we talk about the p-value, we're talking about this right here, the probability this could happen assuming the model is correct, uh, is one point, basically 1.1 1 .1 times 10 to the negative eighth, a very, very small number uh, probability. And uh, it's certainly less than our significance level, 0 0.01, which we decide ahead of time is the one we would say uh, that's a uh, threshold for, for um, deciding it's unprobable. Um, so we'll uh, the p-value is clearly less than the alpha value, so we'll, we'll reject the null hypothesis. We go back up here and look at it, and that's also the claim. So we'll interpret it as saying there is enough evidence to reject the claim uh, that the mean temperature for uh, males is 98.6 at a significance level of 0 0.01.